Alright, we are recording. And uh, now we're just getting a shot. At the 12 volt battery. Of the 12 volt battery that, that powers this thing. This is just the, you know, the statistics and the, what it has printed on volt. the side. Just so you know, it's a 12 volt battery. It's and the same thing. And uh, this is the same battery. This is a battery that we're going to have plugged into it's just the less device. Full. Yeah, it's just not full. And, uh... Ooh! Oh, well, just... hello! That wasn't supposed to happen, And then right there, 170 it? volts. <laughs> this, uh, <laughs> just sort of started up. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen, but that's kind of cool. Oh, it's off the... Oh, it's still actually going. The neon light's going. The neon light absorbs, like, I'm pretty sure... The magnet's not even in it, but you don't even know what the fuck that means yet. Right. <laughs> the, the, the high voltage light is still going at this point. The machine actually jumped the gun on the... I'm trying to... Uh, now we're not registering the, um, yeah. the voltage coming out. Voltage coming out is... Not registering, but it's definitely high voltage. Because that, that, that blue light there in the center is the way this is works, glowing. Yeah, the way this works is there are magnets inside these coils. They're in everything. And right now they are spinning like bastards out of hell in high resonance. And it's a real permanent magnet stuck in there at this point. That's like uh, a the neon, neon light neodymium. Is going, yeah, that's a neodymium sphere. This light right here is going absolutely. This light, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, we can it's see it. It's going pretty bright. Uh, we're going to turn this off. Oh. And that was all off a of 12 volt. We're going to turn it on again. Holy shit, it's still going. What's it just going wants on? to keep going, yeah. yeah. It definitely does. Okay, there you go. It off. Um, <laughs> when we normally start it with another magnet. And a magnet. Yeah, so it's a, a PVC pipe. It's a it's a spherical <laughs> magnet. A PVC very, pipe. very powerful. It's neo neodymium, which mm -hmm. is a rare earth magnet, which means it's strong as hell. I believe grade N forty uh, five. Yeah, and and across here, these are what what you'd say re a set of rheostats. Pretty much, two fifty or or twenty five hundred, uh, five hundred and fifty. And and those are right just adju adjustment valves. Okay. This is just a transformer or not tra uh, what the fuck is it? A cap which is pretty much in there of four hundred fifty volts, which would push everything to the cap or push everything to the output. The outputs are right now connected to a multimeter, but they could easily be connected to any battery to at a all. battery, yep. And the, the, the huge voltage spikes which are going into it will just refill the battery, alkaline or not. To start it, to start this thing, we have the magnet in the rotor housing, and we just basically take another magnet and you line up the holes and. It's funny, it wanted to start up on its own earlier, and there you go. Basically, you spin that one magnet, and it oh. feeds off to itself. There's a sweet spot right here, and you can pull this into the sweet spot, and it hauls ass. And as you do that, you may notice, I don't know if you can see it, but the light, the high voltage light, will pick up on it. So the rotating with some of these magnets that we've actually seen by the guy who actually pieced this all together has put the well his magnet that he has a small little one a bucky ball which is like a BB and it goes at Mach five. And if you put your ear next to it, you can actually hear it tearing up the air. But these this will also affect the high voltage coming out of it. I wish this would show an accurate reading. This one should. Hey, if you pull. There's actually nothing attached to anything at this point. Yeah, no, it's, it's a magnet sort of, in a fucking. In thing. a magnetic field, and. 
<laughs> it's spinning insanely fast. There's nothing attached to anything. That's, that's the sound. Yeah, it of... goes pretty fast. This this works like a gear turning a B field, and this is turning another gear pretty of excited molecules. This is what Tesla did, and one can affect the other, and so on and so on. And if you do it right, you can make a magnifying transmitter because one will affect the other. This. Also, what Ed from the Coral Castle had, this is what also the ancient Egyptians pretty much had. They had a, a torsion field, I believe, and they drew the magnetic flux off it and channeled that. That thing, it just goes and goes and goes and goes. And I wish it, I'm putting it back in there. It's out of the sweet spot, so it's not going to go as quick as the dirty magnet. It's going to try to pull itself in the sweet spot. Amen. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and then, I wish this would show accurate shit. Well. It's still fine. It's just going to pull itself into the sweet spot. Well, that's right. It's a globe, so it doesn't really, I guess, gonna... matter which direction the um. Oh, PVC. God, this thing sucks. Wait, that's affecting it, though. Watch. Can I turn it off? Huh. <laughs> Well, that's interesting. Um, if this works again, <laughs> we will make another video, but right now that thing is probably outputting ridiculously high voltage. Yes, and it's sort of, we gotta find the decimal <laughs> value to... Yeah. Listen yeah. to that, listen to that. Thing but this spins. thing just spins and one feeds off the other and, and so on forever. He also 